<laughs> well, much? Kevin, you bring up uh, something fun. As tradition on the show, we always bring a new and unique craft beer to review and enjoy. So let's see what we are drinking tonight. Kevin, I'm going to start with you. Ah, never used to going first. See, this is why I get to not be Ray. So while I was out with uh, Cowboy Jack Durango and his lovely family, we were heading back to the lovely town of Peoria, Arizona. When uh, we realized, I said, hey, you love the Cactus Tap Room. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, there's no way this will open, right? He's like, and we look it up. They're open until 9. And that's pretty good for a sunny. Let me tell you, I like the hat, Michael Mondragon. So we went to the lovely Cactus Tap Room. Great spot. Glad I don't live there. I'd be like my new Radiant, more or less. They have about 15, 16 things on draft. And then they have like three coolers, three fridges full of beers. You can get single cans and a four-pack to go. This is one that Mr. Cowboy Jack Durant would have recommended called Spellbinder by a favorite of ours here at the Brave Small Brew Crew, Red House Brewing out of Phoenix. They also have a location in Prescott. So this is a, an IPA that comes in at, let me get my numbers here, 7%, so perfect. And you see that award right there. It won the gold medal for the Great American Beer Festival in 2020 and also the Brussels Beer Challenge in 2021 gold medal for Hazy slash Juicy IPA. This is their house, Hazy IPA, years in the making, pills, malt, oats, and Arizona-grown uh, Sonora white wheat. There we go. And we use all premium Northwest hops, Cascade in the Whirlpool, followed by a big mosaic and citrus, citrus dry hop. Bright, bold citrus, tropical, soft with restrained bitterness. And let me tell you, this is a heck of a beer. I remember I took this four-pack home. I'm like, oh, it's back to Cowboy Jack's. Like, you know what? I'll have one. I'll chill out, just have one. While well, Jack had one, he'll probably talk about, you know, on, on his own. Next thing you know, he went to bed, and I'm like, you know what? I got to have one more of these. So I'm like, uh-oh, I only have two for the night, brother. So I have a, I have a backup. This is a big backup here. I, I saw this in a uh, – Oh, yes. I got Moon a tall juice. can of Moon Juice by Santan. <laughs> That's the emergency drink if I really want to not remember the show, if it goes badly. Yeah. <laughs> got that quartzite on the way out because I'm going, I'm not going to find this anywhere else on the way home. Yeah. And, and actually, I'm surprised we didn't see Moon Juice at uh, Chase Field because that's where I first had it. Yeah, and if you watch uh, one of our first videos when I went to spring training in Arizona, I, I, I talk about uh, Moon Juice IPA. But let's talk about Ren House. Ren House, um, I would say it would be in our top three of, uh, of breweries in Arizona because they have killed it when it comes mm -hmm. to a really yeah. great Arizona beer. And uh, again, an award winner, Spellbinder. I want to say that I had this when I was at uh, their brewery. I haven't had it in a can, but you're very lucky can, to find it at, at find Cactus Tap Room. Yeah, Rent Rent House is the radiant of Arizona yeah. for sure. That is awesome. I've seen if you had it, but you didn't. If you did, you didn't put it on. Uh, <laughs> I don't think on, I had uh, it on the yeah. show. I think I think yeah. I had it. Yeah, gotcha. probably. Uh, if you looked down on tap, I, I might have had it. But it's like, no, it was, that's all I was looking at. It said oh, friends, okay. and you didn't. It, Gordon, you have at least you haven't checked it out. Maybe yet. I didn't check it in. Okay, but yeah. This um, is, oh, I don't think I entered because I did have another beer of theirs too uh, on draft. Arizona Lovebirds, I think it was called, is a oh. uh, double. Hey, was it double hazy, Jack? Do you remember? <laughs> Yeah, it was yeah, a double, it was hazy. double hazy. Yes, Arizona, double hazy. it was Ren House, Arizona Lovebirds, yes. double hazy. Kind yeah. of like my kind of thing because I was like, you know what? We're almost safe at home, end of a great weekend. So, boom, let's hit it up hard. Yeah. And I had, a, I think I had a collab with uh, Ren House, and a, yeah. uh, I'm forgetting the other brewery, but yeah, it was, uh, I know. Was, I can't remember either. Yeah, it was fantastic. About. So, um, I wanted to. Yeah, you uh, ever see him? Get 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 Ren House. Yeah, I mean, Ren hopefully House, they yeah. get bigger in the grand scheme of things. I don't think you'll be able to find them in California. Yeah, and and, and uh, I it, this is also something I encourage too. Find them while they're small because they're 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 really like an I, I, yep. I'm going to use a wrestling term here like they're indie darlings right now. <laughs> so like, you know, when they get to the big show, you know they might things might change, but um, they're really super awesome right now and and really a great hidden. A secret. So definitely uh, seek them out. I wanted to acknowledge Ian here. Yes, we will talk about the WBC after this day in baseball. So stay tuned uh, for that. We definitely uh, will definitely uh, make mention of that. Cowboy Jack, uh, tell us about uh, this great beer that was, uh, I believe, gifted to you by Kevin. 
<clears throat> yeah. So, guys, there's three things that make me love ha- Anaheim, California. Number one, it's home to Gene Autry's Angels, where you can see Shohei Otani strike fools out and pop home runs like my main man, Trace Thompson. Number two, the streets are prowled by humanity's apex predator, the baseball brew crew's field correspondent, Mr. Kevin Lyon. And last but not least, it is the home of Radiant Beer Company. Located a mere 10-minute drive from Angel Stadium, this brewery should be a destination for anyone not only visiting Anaheim, but California. Their mantra, sending out light, is so simple, and yet it signifies everything their brand stands for. Their beer is a result of years of experience coupled with genuine passion that you can literally taste with every last drop of beer that they brew. Established in the year of our Lord and Savior Taro 2020 by an amalgamation of craft beer lovers and industry vets with decades of combined experience, Radiant has become not only one of Anaheim's best kept secrets, but this is a bold statement. One of the best breweries in California, hands down. Pound for pound, I would put Radiant up against any brewery in California. I was a non-believer. I'm now a convert. <clears throat> their 20 taps are regularly changing to showcase their diverse offerings, such as award-winning hazy, hazy IPAs, IPAs, double IPAs, triple IPAs, Pilsners, lagers, barrel-edged beers, fruit sours, They offer beer tasting flights, hard seltzers, soft serve beer, beer slushies, nitro pours, slow pours, hard smoothies, and occasional cask toppings. So, Baseball Brew Crew Bruniverse, if you're visiting the Angel Stadium to see Captain America, Miguel Trucha striking out, (laughs) swing on into Radiant Beer Company, grab a spot at their bar, and be sure to let them know that the heartthrob of the Heim, Kevin Lyons, sent you. (laughs) <laughs> well, that's a wonderful plug, and I will just say I'll probably be sitting two chairs down from you when you go inside to say, to say that I sent you. I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> yes, and that's two feet away from his cot that he has uh, yes. there. Yes. So, Jack, what do you think? So this beer was made for their two-year anniversary party. Uh, if you look through our archives, you can see Cowboy Jack actually chugged their one-year anniversary version of, similar to this beer. So triple IPA coming in at what, Jack? 11.4? That's at 11.4. Yeah. yeah. So uh, lesson learned, boys, if you can't tell. I'm just uh, sipsky. little sipskies throughout the night because <laughs> this is this is what we refer to as a night beer. Yeah. When yeah. when this glass is empty, this guy's going to bed. <laughs> Top notch. It's it's not as fruity as I would like. It's not it's not a hazy IPA, so you don't get those strong citrus flavors. But this, you guys got to make it out for their next re, their their next anniversary because when they put out this triple IPA, it's worth the price of admission. They should they should be nationwide, man. These guys make such good beer, and I. Hey, we did our first live show there. Yep. They're part of the they're part of the baseball brew crew family. They treat Kevin right on his rent there. Um, <laughs> I mean, seven seven nights a week conservatively, you can find Kevin Lyon in Radiant, and uh, when I was it's in Arizona. Worth, I was still the there. Trip. He was in Arizona. I was still there. I'm sure. Yes, in spirit, in spirit. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. not my deaf spirit. Uh, <laughs> And also, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to take a photo of this, but uh, I also brought Jack out. Um, what's it called where we where I come from, or where we come from, Jack? Do you remember the name of the beer by? It chance? was it was where we come from. That's right. So it was a collaboration, a double hazy IPA between Radiant and Jack's other favorite brewery, Topping Goliath, uh, Decora, Iowa. I finally got to bring bring him some, and Jack, we definitely enjoyed that on Friday night as well. Oh, Lordy, um, that. That not only was that a wonderful experience, just sitting down and having that beer with you, but it was. I'm going to say it. It's going to be. It's going to be my beer of the year. Oh, right. hands down, wow. hands down. That I love a hazy. You know, I love a hazy IPA. You throw a double IPA, make it hazy, Daddy likey. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, you think I would up by now? Yes, yes. Kevin does have shares in Radiant, but um, he he's occurred them over time. He 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 wasn't an initial investor. Uh, but he he does have stock in in Radiant. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did. Jeez. I know. <laughs> right. <clears throat> 
Exactly. Uh, I miss Kevin as well. So, um, oh. yeah. So, um, but we, we have plans. We will be traveling around. So uh, we'll be uh, making our rounds. So my beer for tonight is actually very interesting. So the beer that I opened at the top of the sh uh, show was actually, uh, this one is the River Walker IPA from Bosque Brewing. Uh, 6.5 ABV, 90 IBU. So Ooh. I actually, it, th this is actually walking distance from where I am right now. There's actually a university. It's right, literally right across the street from the university. Uh, <laughs> if it. I went to uh, New Mexico State uh, University, um, that's where I would be doing a lot of my homework. And uh, I probably would flunk out uh, because this beer is absolutely amazing. And uh, I'll just work at, at Bosque. It's, it's, it's fantastic. And uh, so it, it says a few things are as uniquely New Mexico as our work world-class IPAs. River Walker starts with a light copper base of pale caramel and wheat malt, providing a medium bodied backbone for our flagship IPA. But that's just a setting the stage for the hops where a myriad uh, aromatics and flavors are coaxed out of, out of a blend of our favorite hop varieties. Okay, so this is the one that I wanted to talk about and I was gonna, I'm actually gonna show some pictures, but when I went to the game, um, I'm like, hmm, is this gonna be my beer for tonight? No, I'm going to the bullpen. Uh -oh. This is the beer that was actually at the New Mexico State ball game. This is the Pistol Pete's 1888 wow. by Bosque Brewing, 4.8 ABV, 20 IBU, it is a brilliant pale straw colored ale with a light malt sweetness and just enough late edition hops to add flavor and aromatic nuance. So this, uh, as, I, uh, as I looked at the can, it was actually um, licensed by New Mexico State University. Oh, cool. So that oh, it was the really only cool. beer that was that was licensed by. So I definitely had to get it. I wish it was uh, had something to do with Pistol Pete Marovich, um, <laughs> but it doesn't. Well, if you were in it. Louisiana State That's University, it. then yes, exactly. that would work. Exactly. So, um, but I I did want to talk about uh, Bosque Brewing for a, a little bit. This is the tap room that's across the street from the university. They actually it's 901 East University. So right north of the uh, university, they actually have um, two locations. I'm sorry, seven locations. Yeah, I was just looking um, at that. Uh, Bernalillo, New Mexico. They have a, th that's where the brewery and tap room is. It's north of Albuquerque. They have three locations in Albuquerque, two in Las Cruces, and two in Restoration Pizza, which is in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. I was so, saying, I figured they have to have a Santa Fe, yeah. Right yes, and uh, if, you, if you see here, there's one called the Scale Tipper and the Sean John Sweats Pants. Uh, <laughs> yes, I highly wow. recommend both of those. Did you get wow. to try, you got to try them? Yes. You didn't try the chocolate chipotle, chipotle? No, no the chocolate I, chipotle I, again, there, there's only so much time in the day. That's, yeah. that's a bit, of, that sounds a little intense. Yeah. Well, I'm, chocolate dude, I'm glad that you got all up in Sean John sweatpants. That's good. That's the right, <laughs> right. that's the right decision. <laughs> yes. And uh, so this is the fun of, of going out and, and experiencing all this, trying these new breweries. There's actually, there's a lot actually in this area. So, uh, Everything I kept on looking at, I, I, I kept on coming back to this because it was uh, centrally located. I'm glad I did because it was baseball related. So there you go. So we, we, we brought it all the way around. So definitely check out uh, Bosque Brewing. Yeah. And uh, this is, I, I'm asking the same thing. Where is Bubble Pug? Uh, uh, I mean, I, we, we need to, she needs to be on her. Uh, she dropped off a little bit because uh, she had been here. For, she had her streak got broken. I think she went back to school, I think. Yeah. So she'll, uh, she'll be quick, here. Quick question. Do you know why the, the difference between the beers with like two spades as opposed to like one or three? Did you, did you happen to know what that is about? Is it so I, I actually, uh, I tried to, to figure that out as well. I thought it was because uh -huh. they were hoppier and it turns okay. out that it's, that's not the case because the scale tipper is not as um, hoppy as the Sean John. Gotcha. So I'm trying to maybe figure it's out. A, maybe it's a price who knows potentially potentially um, okay or, or maybe, yeah and i was gonna say higher abv no that's actually opposite as yeah, well no. so i'm not sure as well so okay i just was curious if you knew yeah and they said actually said the most popular uh 
uh, product that they sell is the seltzers. Oh, wow. Right? Well, yeah. well being right next to the college. Yeah, that, that, makes, makes, sense. that yeah. makes total sense. So, kids these um, days. Ah, uh, these kids. Yeah, <laughs> these but, kids hey, and their seltzers, dude. Hey, more craft beer for us, right?